Hi everyone. Okay, this is what I am doing. Welcome to Market's Kitchen, Cocinas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre es Tu Sangre. I am actually going to do fish. The kids all went um, uh, to the lake and they got some rainbow trout. And so, anyway, so I'm preparing it. But what I'm also doing is that I am also preparing chicken. So I'm doing a really nice chicken blend and stuff. So here is my chicken legs. So here's the legs and I have them marinating and then I cut slits in it. And so what I did is it's just three, um, so I did three egg yolks, only egg yolks. I put salt and white pepper, garlic, and then I added a little bit of milk, about a quarter cup of milk, and then I added a cup of flour. So I made this marinade, and so now what I am gonna do is I am gonna put it in the fryer. So it's almost like a, like a fried oriental chicken that I'm doing and stuff. So it's like really, really good. So, this is what I'm doing here. So I love my, I like to cook in my wok. So see when you cut slits, you get the, the coating all through in there, okay? And that's what you wanna do. See how nice this coating is? So, that's what I'm doing. And then, that's one thing about wok cooking is that you can really put a lot in here and stuff. So I, I'm glad I can do that. And you know, it cooks nicely and evenly. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to move this over. See? So it's pretty neat. So then now what I am doing is I am going to do the fish now. So the fish, Mr. Jesse already cleaned the fish. So I'm going to do some green onions. and butter. Again, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen, Cocinas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre es Tu Sangre is my authentic New Mexico cookbook. And you know, I just really want to thank everyone that have, that have honestly, you know, supported me, purchased my cookbook, and just follow me. I really appreciate it so very much. And, um, you know, it it just warms my heart that you guys all do that. I know today one of my friends, she said, I've missed your cooking classes, you know, your show, you know, and stuff. But, you know, we had a death in our family. And so we were so preoccupied with that. I didn't even get on, on my, on my channel, really, and stuff. But anyway, so I'm back and I'm not letting you see me because I look like hell. I haven't done anything to myself today. I just, you know what, I'm just relaxing. So anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm putting the butter and then what I'm doing here, look at these beautiful rainbow trout. Check it out, look at this. So anyway, so what we're doing is I'm just gonna put the onions like this on top, okay? So then, let me get a paper towel. I try to always have my paper towels handy and stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to put a little bit of celery salt. And I'm just putting it inside. And then the outside. But I also have this. It's called pescado. You know, it's just a fish, all kinds of seasoning on this. 
and stuff. So this is basically what I'm using, but I, I always want to put a little bit of celery salt on, on them as well. And then what I'm doing is, um, hold on. I'm gonna put some butter. You know, I have my outdoor kitchen and I just love it. But at the same time, you know, I have to kind of always, there's always something different that I want to use and whatnot. So anyways, I put a little bit of butter in the inside as well and stuff, because you want to have a good amount of butter. So anyways, so what I'm going to do now is there's only three. So I bring it up and I just fold it like a little purse fold it and then what I do here is I bring it up and the same thing here just sealing it that's all that I do so I'm gonna do the next one so that's pretty much what I'm doing I just like I said I just wanted to make sure that we um, put enough butter and then don't forget the onions. Look at this beauty. You know what? Maybe I'll use this one for the bigger piece of foil. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to use this one for the other foil. Because the foil is a little bit bigger. So this is a little bit smaller one, which is nice. Our grandson was so excited that he even got to catch a fish. So he was really happy that they caught fish. There. Don't do too much contaminating. But anyway, so my cookbook has been doing so well. For those of you that have not seen it or used it or anything, you could get it on my website, www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. And then you can also get it on my Amazon storefront, which is um, Amazon.com backslash shops backslash Maria Baca. And um, it's amazing. I love my Amazon storefront. It's so nice and stuff. You guys, get it on there. You can get on there. It's wonderful. And um, I'm excited about it. So get on there, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre Es Tu Sangre. You can't miss it. I dedicated the cookbook to my father, which was the world to me. That man meant everything to me. I'm not saying he was perfect. There's nobody that's perfect, you know, except for one person, you know, Jesus Christ. He's perfect and, um, and stuff. But my dad, he was an amazing man. He was just my 100% support for everything. You know, he was supportive of all his kids. Wasn't perfect, but supportive. He loved us. He was just a hard worker. He was an amazing dad. He truly was an amazing dad. And I just miss him every single day. I talk about him all the time because that's how much I miss him. So anyways, um, so anyways this is what I'm doing. So again, I'm going to do, I didn't put any celery salt on one of them. And that's because hubby doesn't like celery, not hubby, I'm sorry, my grandson Zachary doesn't like celery salt. So that's a come the little one didn't have that. But everything else will. And then, like I said, I use this. I love that stuff. And then here's the, you know, the onions. So anyways, and so this one is a little different because it is a little bit bigger so I'm going to fold it this way so you all can see and then of course I'm going to put it all on the grill I never turn it on the grill so these are ready nice huh
My chicken is doing amazing. Let me show you the chicken. It's really doing great. Look at that. You know, cooking outside's different, you know, and stuff. I, you know, I enjoy cooking outside. I, um, I really like it. I don't like camping. Camping's not my forte, but everything else, you know, I can do. Like outside, anyways. As long as I'm home and I have my own facilities and stuff. But anyway, so cooking outside's just very different. I just love it. So anyways, um, so that's basically what I'm doing there. And then now, what I'm going to do, I think you can see it, is I'm going to put this butter away. I'm going to put this away. You know, the wonderful part about my outdoor kitchen is that I have a refrigerator that is with it. So I can just put everything in the refrigerator, which I'm excited to do that. I'm excited that I have it. Anyway, so yesterday, you guys saw we have cucumbers from our garden, which I'm so excited to have a wonderful garden and stuff. So that's where these cucumbers come from. My hubby did amazing. Mmm. With everything. Mm, you can see them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these cucumbers. Mmm. And I'm going to make my mom's wonderful dish and stuff, which is... um. It's just cucumbers with mayonnaise and stuff. Mm. She always makes it amazing. And our daughter, Victoria, she does the same thing. She makes it as well. So, which is nice. And she makes it really, really good. So, anyways, look at our cucumbers. We picked this one the other day. And I forgot in the refrigerator yesterday. So, you can tell it's a few days older. And stuff. So, anyways... This is what I'm doing. I just love it. You know what, you guys? Please subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com, Margaret's Kitchen, and NM for New Mexico. And stuff, you'll see it. You'll see me on there, and you'll see all my red chili, green chili, enchiladas. You name it, you know. Just do a little bit of everything. And at the same time, you know, like I said, you know, this is a cookbook that I, I wrote for a very long time stopped writing for about five years after my father passed away because he was always always my inspiration and um, and I have a great mom too I mean my mom was always very supportive as well and we still have her blessed to still have our mother and stuff but you know when you start to lose your parents it's um it's a heartache you know let me tell you it's 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 tough but anyway so I said I'm gonna do this Victoria loves this cucumber salad this is her favorite, you know, and she does it all the time. She's always making it. So um, just put your mayonnaise in it, and, and that's pretty much it, you know, and stuff, So, which is exciting. They're supposed to be coming any minute because they're going to go swimming and, um, and stuff. So before you know it, they're all here. Anyways, if you guys notice, I have the rice cooker going because I'm making... Uh, steamed rice so I have the steamed rice going and then of course we have a little bit of the macaroni salad from yesterday so we'll have a little bit of leftovers from yesterday maybe and stuff so just kind of depends what everybody wants to eat um Victoria and David live close to us so it's nice because they come over often to swim and enjoy themselves you know and Rachel and her family do too and stuff but not to this evening they're staying home this evening since tomorrow's really a work day for my both my son-in-laws but when you look close by you can come over you know and you don't have to worry about driving <laughs> too far but anyway so like i said you know thank you for joining me in market's kitchen my authentic new mexico cookbook comidas de mi familia tu sangre es tu sangre and i just want to thank everybody you know thank you god bless you i love you for purchasing my cookbook, for following me along, you know, continue spreading the word about my YouTube channel, continue, I'd appreciate it, it, um, it means a lot to me, you know, for that to occur, 
um, stuff. You know, I just want to put New Mexico on the on the map, you know, because we're able to do all this, you know, and stuff. So that that excites me. And talk about my world when he just got here. And um, and stuff. So, which is always nice. And, uh, but anyway, so, just a little bit color. Anyway, so here's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put pepper. I'm going to have quite a bit of pepper. Check it out. And then, I'm going to put a little bit of salt. And then, what's next? You put mayo. Probably end up using all of it. So Zachary's going to turn on the coal that he just got here. So he's going to go turn on the pool so we can hear the waterfall and jump in the pool because we're roasting. So Gami's getting in the pool today and stuff. So anyway, so this is neat. So see, I just, all this, um, all of the, the mayo, I'm going to smash it down a little bit. So then I just kind of mix it all in. You know, and like I said, you guys, keep sharing. Invite your friends to my pages, Margaret's Kitchen on Facebook, and then New Mexico uh, recipes, plus cookbooks for sale, for sale and whatnot. Anyways, you know, invite everybody. I'd appreciate it. You know, I really would appreciate it. It's great. I'm glad to always have new people on my pages and and whatnot, you know. I don't like to leave anything messy because of the fact is that, you know, you get flies. That's the only thing about cooking outside. You end up, you will get flies, so you got to be really careful. And so, anyway, so look at this. Everything looks really, really good. Zachary had to get a soda, a Coke. So here's our, the salad. It's just a little bit of the salad. You know, cucumber salad. And now, uh, now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. Hold on. So now, what I'm going to do for the chicken is I'm going to make this, it's like a, almost like a barbecue sauce. I'm using a barbecue sauce, but I'm also putting a little bit of fish sauce and a little bit of soy sauce. Um, just kind of a little, always experimenting something and stuff. And it's just going to coat the chicken and I'm going to actually like fry it again and stuff. So... It'll be good. I promise it's delicious. So I'm gonna put a little bit of fish sauce. And it's just a tad. I mean, I mean it's like an eighth of a teaspoon. And then a little bit of soy sauce. And I'm using the less, less salt. So I'm gonna get my, my whisk. Mmm, it smells delicious. Okay. And you just wanted to like put a little bit more soy sauce. I'm letting the fish sit just for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna put it on the grill. See? All I need is just that little bit. So I'm going to put the fish on the grill. Okay, 
to show you. There's the fish, it's on the grill. So anyway, so that's done there. And then of course, here's my rice, my steamer, my hot water. And then all this, that's pretty good. And then here's my chicken. Look at how beautiful the chicken's looking. See, it cracks open really nice because I, I did the slits. And what happened is my chicken was still a little cold, you know, and um, it just, for some reason, it just didn't defrost all the way. So it cooled down my, um, my oil. But it's all good. Doesn't it look good? There. Looks pretty good, huh? Like I said, I just love my outdoor kitchen. Put this away. Put this away for drainer. Okay, give me one quick second. Rinse this bowl. Oh my gosh, the chicken smells amazing. Just amazing. So anyways, um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to get the chicken out. I'm going to get the chicken out and then I'll, I'll refry it. Look at that. It's just all popped open. I wanted it to do that. We want it to really, really crisp up. It smells amazing. Amazing. You know, it, <laughs> it actually just, it just smells good. I just love it. it smells good. It's just chicken legs. Um, you know, sometimes my grandson loves chicken legs and stuff. So anyway, so that's what you know, that's why I made chicken legs. So anyways, it's really nice. And then of course my my rice cooker and stuff. So that's exciting. You can hear the sizzle. Let me see. I want you to be able to see that sizzle. Okay, there it is. So I'm cooking it in my out in my wok. 
and stuff. This is for outdoors. This is my outdoor walk. So. Let that one cook just a little bit because it's a little bit bigger. Let me see. So anyways, cooking has been, you know, it's it's been my lifesaver. You know, there's been so much that has gone on since my father passed away and it truly has been a lifesaver for me. I don't know what I would do if I didn't know how to cook and have that escape, you know, um, and stuff. I just, um, it's been a transition, let me tell you, since he passed. And, um, you know, my whole life has just totally changed, just totally changed and stuff. So, anyways, what I'm going to do now... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to empty the grease in my pan over here. And I, I want to keep all that crisp right there. That crisp is nice. I'm just going to put a tad of oil in it just so it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to get my wooden spoon. I used all uh, avocado oil, so I'm going to use my wooden spatula. Look at that. Mm. So now, here's the sauce. So I'm going to put this in here now. And then I'm going to add the, the sauce. And it's cooking it, you know. Oh, it smells like, like the fish sauce. It's like a, basically like a fried barbecue. Check it out. Don't those look good? Love, love, love it. See? And you could just hear it. I turn the heat down. What do you think about? We're going to have to like adjust the fire on this. Because low doesn't seem to be too low. And stuff. Doesn't that look amazing? rest of it in. Okay. The rice is just about done. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Okay. I don't want to put the paper towel. There's some more grease. Doesn't it look amazing? You know, the thing about cooking is it's all about just um, whatever you think of. You know, I mean, try it. You know, you never know what you're going to come out with. And maybe you will come out with something that's terrible that nobody wants to eat, right? But anyway, so 
this is that was my it's kind of like almost like a Filipino because you know an Asian chicken it just kind of made it up but look at that doesn't that look amazing okay everyone love you let me give you one more peek at at the fish it's nicely cooking and stuff but my rice is almost done again thank you all you know for joining me and at in margaret's kitchen remember go to my amazon storefront under maria baca um, amazon.com backslash shops backslash maria baca comidas de mi familia tu sangre es tu sangre is the name of my cookbook you'll know it's mine because you'll see my father with red chili grises in the you know for the cover and um you know what or go to my website www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com we'll talk to you soon subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe invite everybody and um in the coming weeks i'm going to have some special things going on so anyways so pray for me you guys i just need a lot of prayer right now um and stuff i always need prayer we all need prayer but you know what love you all and thank you once again bye Okay, look at the fish, how beautiful it is. And our chicken. Macaroni salad that Mijita Victoria made. And then my grilled salsa. Coleslaw that we had left over from yesterday. The steamed rice. And then our cucumbers from our garden. So, okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye.